Hello? I hear you shock dropping, baby. If you didn't cop, I don't blame you. Uh, 2024 is a unique year, guys. Um, not been in love with everyone, everything that's been dropping. Uh, just watched Break, Jay, and a handful of guys go live for a shock drop for the Columbia 11s, man. And I don't know, man. Like, this is my old pair. And I see some of the new pairs, which they look damn near identical. I'm not sure it's worth the money. Uh, a lot of people saying it's going to be sitting or maybe even go to the outlets. We'll see how that plays out. I mean, I'll be honest. I, I was disappointed when I heard that the actual box itself is going to be different. Um, I, I, if you can tell a little bit through the camera here, um, I've worn my pair a good amount, but I've actually stopped wearing 11s for a couple years now just because... Damn, they just hurt your feet. They're not meant to rock on a consistent basis. And, man, shout out to Rafi, dude. I'm going to give him a little love here, even though I look goofy as hell with the shit forward. Um, I just don't like I don't, I don't like the way that uh, that 11s fit, man. I, like, over the years, I've grown to wear 3s more, which is, you know, obviously we just, we just got done reviewing the Cement 3s. Um, but I will say the shoe I've been rocking more than ever is actually... The Jumpman Jacks, man. Um, Jumpman Jacks have... I'm going to talk about this in another video because I rocked this pair heavy. I actually went to Chicago and did about 20,000 steps in this in this shoe. And yes, this is a shoe that probably could do with a new insole because wholeheartedly th this bad boy is good for walking, but at a, at a certain point, it needs, it needs an upgrade. So... Um, but let's get back to the to the shock drop shoe because I think I think we're all here for the idea of you know what are these Columbia 11s going to look like? Are they worth copping or is it something I need to pick up before the holidays? We got a lot of buying decisions to make. Wholeheartedly, we got gifts to buy for people. Is this a shoe to buy for someone for a gift? I say yes, but uh, I heard Jay on his live say we may be better off waiting till it goes potentially to the outlets. I know some people say. No way there's an 11 going to go to the outlets. The problem is with this shoe is it effectively is an all-white shoe, right? We all love all-white shoes. I mean, look at Air Force Ones. We've always loved an all-white shoe. But is it something I need to spend damn near $250 for? And my answer is no. But it's because often I think they, they flood the market with 11s. And where I have the issue with that is... We often see them go to the outlets, maybe not in abundance, right? But if it's something you're not wanting to pay resale on, obviously, I hope you took advantage of the shock drop, which there'll be an official drop here sooner than later. They may get pushed back. They may not. I don't think they will. I think they'll continue to keep the date for the official release date, which I'll keep in the description of this video. Um, but wholeheartedly, man, I... I've always, by the way, for sizing purposes, I know some of you guys are considering what, what size do I get. I always go a size up on Jordan 11. So I'm natively a size 13, but I want a size 14. So this is why this damn shoe looks so big is I do have a size 14. Um, there, It's a decent pair. Let me, not, let me not talk a lot of shit about it. It's a decent pair, but I've had this for a long time and it was just because I, I played ball and I wanted to have a decent shoe that could pretty much go with any team I played for or any, you know, whether it was intramural basketball at UCF or, you know, at the time when I was playing for, for high school and stuff like that. Like wholeheartedly, it, it's got to be something that's universal. Um, plus, it's a dope shoe. I won't say it's not a dope shoe, but in today's market, is it worth 250 bucks? And I think there's other shoes that are better than this. You know, I don't think... I don't think you get enough wares out of a Jordan 11 to justify the price point. So if it's up to me, I would say no. But reality is, I mean, it, a lot of people will pull the trigger, which I saw a lot of W's on the chat. I saw Shuby and, you know, a handful of other people get this pair. But do I think it's something we got to go run and, and you know, run us, you know, hate to say it, StockX and Goat and all these other platforms to, to cop on the, on the secondary market? I don't think so. I don't, I, I think we can hold tight. So... Let me know your thoughts, guys. I mean, this is this is going to be a highly, you know, holiday 11s are always one that we always talk about every year. Is it something that you need to cop? I don't think so, not in this holiday season. I think this is a, I'll be honest, this is a pass for me. Obviously, I have the old pair, so 
it's an easy pass just because I already have the pre-existing shoe. Um, I haven't seen the quality on the newest pair. Again, I know we talk quality on the Cement 3s. I got a lot of backlash for that, but that's okay because at the end of the day, if I'm paying $250, I want good quality. Take it from someone who makes bags for a living. I expect you guys to hold me to that same level as far as quality is concerned. Hold me to a standard. Well, let's hold Nike to a standard of making good quality shoes. Like this pair is decent, right? Like this older pair is decent. I, I will say the my biggest issue in these pairs were that it was just, it had no flux on it. Like thing is damn near tight. Like you can kind of tell, I obviously I'm, I'm, I'm that old fart that ties this stuff way too tight uh, on the laces. And that partly had to do because I should have wore a little thicker socks, but it's a decent pair, but I, I, I just, I, I don't see myself copping. So like he, as you hear all the time, these YouTubers, copper drop, I say drop, bro. I don't, I don't think this is worth a, a $250 price, $50 price tag. Um, but I know a lot of you guys will argue with me in the comments, which I'm good with that. I think that's, that's a good argument because 11 and 11. And, and the, the unfortunate part is I just don't see 11s holding their, their values anymore. Like this shoe alone, I don't think, you know, come, come the secondary market or, you know, the resale market, I don't see it. I don't see it doing, but maybe 260, 270, you know, uh, we already see the cements going for damn near retail, if not less. So, uh, that kind of gives you an idea where the market's at. So, Again, if you're if you're looking to resell it, I, I don't think this is a shoe for you. Uh, but if you're looking to cop and wear it, maybe. Uh, but I don't. I think there's a lot better hoop and shoes than a Jordan 11, uh, especially if you're going to be serious about hooping. So, uh, guys, if you haven't already, comment down below. And obviously, right now is the time to take advantage of our Black Friday at Soul Premise. If you haven't already, check us out. Link will be in the description for our Black Friday sale. We have bags of all kinds down here. We got it all that can carry up to four to five pairs of shoes, you name it. If you're traveling and you're worried about your shoes, man, you should be copping Soul Premise. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below. I take all kind of criticism because at the end of the day, that's the beauty we got to discuss as a community, what we like and don't like and what we expect from Nike, what we don't expect from Nike, what we expect from Jordan, right? Like to me, this guy is the the premier company when it comes to sneakers. He, he, he holds the marker. Should we ex be expecting more? I, I don't think a lackluster, I know a lot of people said, oh, Jordan 11s have had a lackluster box for a while. I, I want a premium box at 250, I'm sorry. At 250, I want a premium box. Give me something, right? Like, we all know that these shoes are being made for damn near nothing. Give me something that I can show for it, especially if you already set that precedent from years prior. So, all right, guys, make sure to comment. I look forward to your conversations down below. If you have any questions, man, hit me up on the DM at Soul Premise, man. I look forward to seeing you guys at SoulPremise.com, cop in a bag to hold your Columbia's, your Cement's, or whatever shoes you got at home. If you do, make sure to shoot me a DM with a picture. I'll send some out to you guys. Talk to you soon, guys.